Brothers and sisters, for confession and assurance, let us take a moment to uh, confess before the Lord our God in prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us together again. Uh, Lord, please hear our prayer as we take some moments here to silently confess to you those burdens on our heart, those sins that we have not confessed, those dark corners that we pretend are secret. Hear us, O God, as we pray. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing our prayers. Amen. Our words of assurance are Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from his sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept all your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now, this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in horses and chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. Brothers and sisters, God has given victory to the king, and though this psalm was originally written back in the days of the kings of Israel, it is really ultimately about the victory that has been given to Jesus, and through him we have that same victory that same victory over sin and death and all the powers and principalities of this world. Let us continue to praise him.